Argo Floats, understanding our oceans. How would we measure the ocean? The first scientists who tried to measure the ocean, they realised the ocean was just too big to be measured by hand. The scientists asked some friends to help. But they realised the ocean was still too large. So then the scientists decided to put thermometers onto ships. So we can measure the ocean everywhere the ships go. Lots of ships measure data from around the world. But the ships could not measure everywhere. How would you measure the ocean? So we need something to measure it with. We need something that floats. We really want something that can sink as well into deep water. And we want something that can drift along with the ocean currents. When it comes up, the float rises slowly. And at the surface, it could send its data to a satellite. And then, back to land. Scientists around the world have put this in one instrument. It's an Argo float. Yay! Argo floats are deployed by ships. On the first day, they sink down to 1,000 metres. Argo floats can change their buoyancy so they can sink or rise by themselves. Argo floats are powered by batteries and can last for four to seven years. Once it reaches a thousand metres, the float drifts with the current for nine days. It measures temperature and current speed. On day nine, the Argo float sinks to 2,000 metres. On day 10, the Argo float rises slowly to the surface, measuring temperature, saltiness and depth. The float repeats this cycle every 10 days and then repeats it again and again. So we now have three and a half thousand Argo floats around the world and therefore we can now see what's happening in the ocean. We know where the ocean is very salty and where it's fresher. We know how cold the ocean is at the poles and we know how warm it is in the tropics. Ocean currents carry heat, salt and tiny marine life like plankton all around the world. So how do we use the Argo data? Farmers use Argo data to better predict weather and climate. El Nino brings drought and scorching heat. When La Nina comes, we have rain and floods. Oil and gas industries use Argo data to find out about wave height and swell. 
shipping industries use Argo data to help ships get from A to B faster. Some fishermen use ocean temperature maps from Argo to find schools of fish. And of course, scientists use Argo data to understand the oceans and the global climate. Argo is an international program. More than 30 countries are part of Argo. For more information, go to imos.org.au slash argo.html. And thanks for watching. Hey.